Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are going to be taking a look at another interesting mod, and this one is one that is oh, extraordinarily useful if you have ever had to transfer anything between ships. Now, the mod in question is the Ship Manifest mod, so if we jump into the test save here... Now, this mod is extraordinarily useful for a whole variety of reasons, and essentially what it does is it allows you a much better interface for transferring all your various resources in a Kerbal Space Program between your parts of your ships. It is extremely useful, so if we just, just to give a quick little look at things, let's just grab this capsule here and launch just to take a basic look at the interface first and foremost and come on launch pad now I should mention while we're waiting for the launch pad that this is a mod made by form user Papa Joe as always a link will be in the description and well if you take a look at this module it's pretty standard fare as always and if you click this button we have here in the toolbar for the ship manifest you get this lovely interface here which gives you all the various options for your spacecraft now we can do a variety of things from this menu right here so if we pin these resources for instance oh thank you for turning on lights uh we can empty all the resources if we want we can also fill them we can also empty the crew bye bye guys or bring the crew back and we can even dump specific resources like the electrical charge or the monopropellant, which I also just realized that it actually has monopropellant. I never, never had seen that before, that this this uh, capsule has monopropellant built into it. Huh. Did not know. Okay, you learn something new every day. But yeah, we'll fill those back up. And uh, basically what this gives you right now is control over your resources but then we have these buttons here for crew and science at the moment there are others such as fuel oxidizer and all of that which we can then use to transfer things between different parts of your ship which is a glorious but first while we're here on the ground let's take a look at the settings options that we have here now we've got a debug console logging and all that sort of stuff and you can even auto save your settings and so forth and we can have a realism mode or have it on not realistic which right now it's on not realistic so let's save that go back into settings and you also notice here these various files which are glorious glorious things now this mod has actually been around since about uh, December I believe it was uh, but a recent update just a few days ago added things such as these sounds so when you say transfer crew it'll do a crew transfer sound or if you're pumping fuel between bits it will do a pump fuel sound and so forth and we got a flow rate so you can control how fast things move from one to the other as you're transferring which is pretty awesome so say if we just bring this down to like 75 ish save there we go now also we have in this mod control of the roster now this is interesting we've got two dead kerbals here that I I unfortunately had to sacrifice for this <laughs> this particular video for the purpose of showing you we can respawn them. Look at that, they're, they're respawned. Matt Kerman and Neil Me Kerman are alive yet again. And hold on a second, are they? Oh, no. Huh. Why do we have two extra seats down there? That's strange. Oh, uh, but yes, yeah, so we have these guys are alive and well again. And if you'll notice, they have an edit next to their name. So we can click that change their name, change their stats, and even give them the glorious badass status. But, ah, uh, Matt does not deserve that. And you'll also notice that some of them are grayed out, and that is because these Kerbals are currently on a mission. On a mission that we'll be taking a look at in just a few moments to get a better look at transferring. So while a Kerbal is not on a mission, you can edit it. But while they are on a mission, you cannot change it so in the middle of a flight you can't change Bill to be badass and so forth, or not badass, I 
I honestly don't know if he has the badass tick mark or not, but nonetheless, we can even add Kerbals, as you can see down here. I added myself as a Kerbal earlier and uh, gave myself a moderate courage. I'm not a stupid person, so got that lowered down, but I did not give myself badass because, well, yeah, I'm not a badass. <laughs> but nonetheless, so you can add in, it's, it's quite cool to be able to add in a Kerbals at your whim. And all you gotta do is hit the create button, give them a name and give them some stats and you're good to go. Now that is the extent of what we can really look at just from a basic capsule. So let's go back to the space center and head on up to a space station that I put into orbit earlier. Which is why all of those crew members are currently used up. So if we go to... Uh, what's... Oh, that's the capsule I didn't end that. Well, let's, let's recover that while we're at it. And go to the test station. So we can take a look at how transferring works and why this is indeed such a cool mod and why I love it. Now... Basic station, we've got some simple resources, electrical charge, all of that. We have used up some mono propellant in uh, getting ourselves docked with the station, but we've got full mono propellant back here. Now, normally, in how you transfer fuel in game, you just, you know, hit or hold down Alt and then uh, right click between uh, which one you want it to go to, to the other, and you can tell it to transfer in and out. It's a system that works, but it gets complicated and somewhat annoying and not very fine to detail when you're using, using like liquid fuel and oxidizer. And that's where one of the fun parts of the ship manifest comes in. So if we go down to, say, the liquid fuel, which we haven't used any, so let's use the monitor propellant as an example instead. And we have, you can see here, how much each of the parts that has monitor propellant, how much it actually has. So in the command pod there, we've used up some of the monopropellant, propellant, we've used up some in the RCS tank, but we've got full monopropellant propellant in the cupola and also this RCS tank back here. And we can hit transfer and we get this glorious little interface so we can see all of these different ones and say we want to transfer monopropellant from this large storage tank back here to our capsule. I believe that one, yes, that is that back storage tank. It glows red on this side and on this side it'll glow green. So we have that and you see that we can transfer from this one over to this one because this one's full and this one needs stuff. So we can just hit this transfer here and we got a little whooshing sound. I don't know if you'll actually hear that on the recording. It was quite low volume, honestly. And we can see that we now have the full fuel over in this one. But if we want, we can transfer it back. So let's click that. Little whoosh sound, and it's all back into that tank. Now I'm wondering why that stayed there. I guess because now it's empty, so we could go to like that Gopola and transfer <laughs> 10 of uh, fuel f over there. So yeah, let's do that. There we go. Coppola doesn't need any RCS fuel, but this main tank back here does. And you can use that to transfer amounts and you can even control the amount to transfer from here. So say we only want to transfer four over to the cupola. We hit that and there we go. So you can fine tune the controls. So say if you have multiple fuel tanks on your space station and you're wanting to refuel a spaceship that you have docked that's getting ready to go out to Duna or something, you can control how much fuel goes from each of your fuel canisters by a very fine-tuned way. I mean, we can do it as much or as little as we like, and it works quite nicely. And that's... Wonderful. You can do it with the monopropellant. You can do it with the liquid fuel, the oxidizer. You can even do it with the electrical charge. So say if I didn't have any uh, solar panels on this module and it was running low on fuel, we could transfer our electrical charge over to it in the same way that we do it with this stuff here. So say, well, that the Poodle engine actually has some electrical charge to it. 
Interesting. Well, yeah, let's transfer 0.16 over to it. Oh, see, that actually doesn't work. So that must be a slight glitch. I was about to say, I was like, how does that have electrical storage? Huh. Interesting. But yes, if the uh, command pod here or the cupola module, if any of those were low on power and didn't have the means of recharging itself, you could manually charge and move electricity back and forth between places like you can with the all the fuel sources and even your science. And I love how it highlights which bits have what. So when you have the monopropellant, those all have the monopropellant, those all have electrical charge, those all have science, and just like with the fuel or the electrical charge, you can move over your science between modules. So say you bring up a capsule like this to the space station, you can transfer all the science into this capsule here. Say from the processing lab, we could move it all down to the Mark I command pod, and then undock this and go back down to the planet, and bam, we've sent all of our science back down to Kerbal. But the part that I enjoy the most, I mean, all that is wonderful and really, really saves you a lot of time and energy with transferring fuel. And also, of course, it allows you to even transfer the electrical charge and science. But one thing that annoys, I think, everyone who plays this game is how slow it is to transfer Kerbals between space stations and ships. You literally have to get one of your guys out on EVA, like say, right now there are two seats open in this hitchhiker storage container, so if I wanted to move two of the crew from this command pod, normally I'd have to EVA them from the command pod and fly them over to this hitchhiker storage container. And you gotta do that one by one, but no more, no more do you have to do that. So if we select the command pod and the hitchhiker, you can see we have the transfer option here, so we can send over Burvy Kerman to the hitchhiker pod with the click of a button. And there we go. He's now in that. <laughs> so, and we can then move Bill into the command pod. Or of course we can throw these guys in here and then take Jebediah out of the cupola, move him into the command pod, and uh, put Bob in the command pod as well. And look, the whole team's back together, even though they were split apart between the Coppola and the Hitchhiker mod, or the Hitchhiker capsule, rather, or storage container. Wow, I cannot talk. But yeah, you can move them around at will. Now, of course, the problem, you have to have empty seats. So like right now, I did not put two crew into that Hitchhiker a container. So there were two free crew, but say I wanted to move people from the command pod to the processing lab. You can't because there are no open seats. So if your space station is full of people and you're trying to move them around, you still have to get people out on EVA. You can't, at least at the moment, you can't seem to switch seats with people. So I couldn't switch seats with Bill and Luden. That is not possible at the moment. I'm hoping it will be in the future because that would be a lovely addition where you just swap seats. That would be perfect. And like I said, all these transfers can be affected by your settings here. So you have your flow rates for like moving along the fuel and so forth. I don't know if that affects the crew but it will affect the pumping of fuel between uh, compartments to make it more realistic so you're not just instantly, oh, it's there now. So like at 100%, it is basically instantly there. But if you want to actually simulate, oh, it's having to pump slowly from one to the other, then you can do that if you want. That is a possibility. But hey, Vigi Games, you can just do it however you like. And yeah, that is the... Ship Manifest mod by Papa Joe. It is just glorious. You can edit your kerbals, you can change flow rates and the sound, so if you wanted to add your own sound, you can. Uh, and you can transfer science, electricity, fuel, crew, uh, pretty much every resource in the game. It, it's just, it's wonderful. I absolutely love this mod. It's an extraordinarily convenient thing to have, especially if you're building a large space station to serve as a platform to then send off deep space missions. You can dock with it, 
transfer over everything you need with an immense degree of accuracy as we saw with the uh, monitor propellant we could do it down to the decimal point of how much we want to transfer and you can move your crew around of course once again provided you have an open seat that's really the only limitation there and this mod is still being developed and I cannot wait to see how it changes in the future what all they add and I really do hope that you guys will go and check this out for yourself. It is extraordinarily useful. And of course, I also hope you have enjoyed this episode and that you come back for the next, where we'll be doing something else here in Kerbal Space Program that hopefully will be fun and entertaining. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one.